to enable remote desktop on Windows Server 2016 for ease of remotely managing the server. This short video will show you how you can enable remote desktop in Windows Server 2016. In order to use remote desktop, there are a couple of things you need to understand first. First, on the Windows machine you want to remote desktop into, you need to make sure that the user account has a password. Second, you also need to make sure that the account is an administrator account on the system or user account must be a member of remote desktop user group. Third, you have to make sure that the firewall on a Windows server allows remote desktop to the machine. Fourth, you have to enable a remote desktop in the system settings. And the lastly, you must have a network connectivity between both computers. I will go through each of these steps so that you can see exactly what needs to be done in order to properly get remote desktop working. First of all, you have to log on to your Windows server as a local administrator. And for my demonstration, already I logged in as an administrator on this Windows Server 2016. Let's open a server manager. On a server manager, in a left fan of the server manager, click on a local server. Wait a few seconds for the information about the local server to update in the right pane. In the property section of the right pane, you can see the status of remote desktop which is disabled by default. Click on the status to change it to enable. So let's click on a disabled. The system's property dialogs open the remote tab. On a remote tab, you can see under remote desktop, choose an option and then specify who can connect. Now I'm going to select allow remote desktop connection to this computer. And also I'm going to select allow connections only from the computer running remote desktop with network level authentication and that is recommended. If you know that the people who will connect to your PC are running Windows 7 or higher operating system on their PC, then you can check the allow connection only from computer running remote desktop with network level authentication. Now let's grant the user account remote access. A user account that will be used to connect to the remote desktop has to be allowed to do that. If the user account is a member of the administrator group, it is already allowed to connect. You can skip these steps, otherwise click on select user and from here you can add a particular user who can connect to this Windows server using remote desktop. As you can see, our administrator already has access to remote desktop. Let's click on OK, let's click on Apply and let's click on OK. Now, as you can see, a remote desktop status is currently enabled. Once you have done that, now let's open Windows Firewall. Let's click on a Start button. Let's open Control Panel. Let's click on System and Security. And let's click on Windows Firewall. Now, over here, let's click on Allow an App or Free Share through Windows Firewall. Let's find the entry for Remote Desktop. For remote desktop rule, as you can see, all three firewall profiles are currently allowing our remote desktop communicating through Windows Firewall. Let's click on OK and let's close this console. So now our computer is ready for remote desktop. First, I'm going to try to connecting this Windows server from another computer on my network. Now for this demonstration, I have a one Windows 10 computer. In order to connect to the Windows server from a Windows 10 computer, let's search for remote desktop application okay so this is the application which we are looking for now here you have to specify the name of your computer or you can specify the IP address of our remote computer the best way to connect is to type in the IP address of the computer so let's going back on our Windows Server 2016 computer and as you can see the IP address of this our computer is 192.168.1.201 let's come back on our Windows 10 computer and let's uh, specify the IP address 201. Let's click on connect. If you get a login screen pop up, which means you have successfully connected to the other computer, you can now enter the username and password. Now, for our demonstration, I'm going to specify the credential of our administrator. So let's specify the credential of our administrator. Let's specify the username, administrator, and the password. Let's click on OK. You will then get a warning windows with certificate error. Click on yes. And that's it. Now you can manage your server remotely from another computer. So in this way, we can enable remote desktop in Windows Server 2016. And by using remote desktop connection application, we can connect to our Windows server from another computer. And from there, we can manage our Windows server. This concludes the video demonstration on how we can enable remote desktop in Windows Server 2016. 
Thank you for watching this video.